Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss steepest ascent hill climbing algorithm in artificial intelligence with the help of simple solved example. In the previous video, I have discussed simple hill climbing algorithm. The link for that video is given in the description below. Simple hill climbing algorithm looks something like this. To understand steepest ascent hill climbing algorithm, I will consider this example. This is the initial state given and this is the goal state. To move from initial state to goal state, we need to apply one operator at a time and then we need to consider the heuristic value of each of those particular states. The heuristic function looks something like this. h of x is equal to plus 1 for all blocks in the support structure if the block is correctly positioned. That is, let us say that uh, we consider this particular block B. B does not have any support structure because below B we don't have any blocks here. But if we consider C, C has a support structure containing B as a block and if B is correctly positioned, we will be adding 1 to it uh, for the heuristic value. If it is not correctly placed, we will subtract 1 from it. Now, if you look at here, we are expecting B should be present on the top of A in the goal state. So, the meaning of this one is B is incorrectly placed. The meaning of this one is for C, it is minus 1. Similarly, we have to calculate the heuristic value for the remaining uh, two blocks here. For D again, it is uh, uh, support structure is equal to C and B. Both of them are not correctly placed because B should be present on the top of A and C should be present on the top of A and B because not uh, they are not correctly placed. The heuristic value is equal to minus 2 here. Similarly, for A, all three are not correctly placed. The heuristic value will become minus 3 and the total it is equal to minus 6 over here. Similarly, on the goal state, everything is correctly placed. For A, we don't have any support structure. For B, it is correctly placed, so it is plus 1. For C, both of them are correctly placed, so it is plus 2. For D, all 3 are correctly placed, so it is 3 here. If you add all 3, it will become plus 6. So, we have to go from minus 6 to plus 6 over here. Now, what actually we do in this uh, simple hill climbing algorithm is, uh, whenever we consider this particular initial state, we will check whether it is a goal state or not. If it is a goal state, we will stop here. But right now, the initial state is not a goal state, so we have to apply one operator. So, what we do? The only possibility is to move this particular A onto this particular ground here. That's the only possibility because of that, after applying that particular operator, this is how the new state will look like. We have already calculated the heuristic value of this particular initial state, which is equal to minus 6. The heuristic value of this particular new state will become minus 3 because A is not having any support structure, B is not having any support structure. C has a support structure, but this particular B is incorrectly placed, so it is minus 1. For D, both of them are not correctly placed, so it is minus 2. If you add both, it will become minus 3. So now, this will become your current state. From here onwards, we need to apply the next step. So what we do again in this hill climbing algorithm is, uh, we have multiple number of op uh, possibilities here. That is, uh, one possibility is to move this particular D on the top of A. It will look something like this and its heuristic value is minus 2. The second possibility is, we can move this particular D on the ground. Its heuristic value is equal to minus 1. The third possibility is, we can move this particular A on the top of D and it looks something like this and its heuristic value is equal to minus 6. And if you look at this particular heuristic values, minus 6 is not better than minus 3. So, we don't consider this one in hill climbing. But these two are better than this particular thing. So, what hill climbing algorithm will do is, it will select one of these as a, a next state randomly. Either it will select this one or it will select this one based on which operator has been applied first and then it will continue from there onwards. That is, in basic or simplest hill climbing algorithm, we apply one operator. If its heuristic value is better than the current state, we will consider that as a new state here. But in steepest hill climbing algorithm, what we do is, we will consider all possible moves from the current state and then we will select one best move so that it will become the next state here. So, in this case, from this particular current state, we will apply all possible operators. In this case, there are three possibilities are there. Out of three possibilities, whichever is the best one, that will be selected as a new state and then we will continue from that particular state onwards. So, what is the basic difference between hill climbing and steepest hill climbing is? In hill climbing, we will apply the operator. If it is better than the current heuristic value, we consider it. But in steepest ascent hill climbing algorithm, we apply all operators. Out of all operators, the one which is having better value, that will be considered in that case. 
now we will try to see the algorithm here the first step of uh, steepest hill climbing algorithm is we need to evaluate the initial state if it is a goal state we need to return it and then we need to quit the algorithm here otherwise we need to continue with the initial state as the current state so in this case if you look at here the initial state is not a goal state so we need to consider initial state as a current state and then we need to start applying the algorithm here now what we do in the second step we loop until the solution is found or until the complete iteration produces no change in the current state that is nothing but uh, we need to apply some operators and then uh, we need to see whether we got the goal state or not if we get the goal state we need to stop here otherwise there is another termination condition is uh, we don't have any operator to apply on this one so if any one of those particular things has happened we need to stop this particular loop now at this particular point of time we have an operator to apply that is a can be placed on the ground here so we can apply that particular thing and then we will uh, uh, see these three uh, sub steps that is a b and c here now for the first uh, step there is no problem here because there is only one possibility we have to do it once you do that part of thing we will get this as the new state this new state will become your current state because there is only one possibility we will do that part apply that particular thing either it is simple hill climbing algorithm or it is a steepest hill climbing algorithm here but when you come to this particular current state how many possibilities are there as said earlier there are three possibilities are there so what we do is uh, first we will define one variable called as successor this successor will hold the new state which is better than the current state so what we do in this case for each operator that applies to the current state we apply one operator at a time so for this particular current state there are three operators are applicable we will apply one operator at a time and then we will generate what we will generate the new state here once you generate this particular new state let's assume that we have applied this operator we get this particular new state what we need to do we need to evaluate that particular new state and then we need to uh, check that particular state is a goal state or not so first of all this is not a goal state if it is a goal state we need to stop here if it is not a goal state what we need to do is we need to compare that particular thing with the successor so for example uh, this current state will be the successor initially whose heuristic value is equal to minus 3 its heuristic value is equal to minus 2 so minus 2 is better than this particular minus 3 this will become your successor in this case now once we do that part of thing we will go back here and then we will apply the next second operator so once we apply this particular second operator we will get uh, this particular new state this new state is not a goal state again we need to compare this heuristic value with the current successor the current successor's heuristic value is minus 2 and the new state's uh, heuristic value is minus 1 between these two this is the better one so this will become successor in this particular case so that is what we have done in this particular step now we will go back and then apply the third operator once you apply the third operator we will get the new state here that is the third operator is to place this particular a on the top of this particular d we will get this particular new state its heuristic value is equal to minus 6 here and this new state is not a goal state because of that particular thing what we need to do is we need to compare this uh, new state's heuristic value with the current successor current successor's heuristic value is minus 1 and the new state's uh, heuristic value is minus 6 minus 6 is not better than minus 1 here so because of that this will remains what you can say that the successor here now after applying all three operators we got a new state whose uh, uh, heuristic value is equal to minus 1 which is better than all three operators over here now once you do that particular thing if the successor is better than the current state so original current state was what this is the current state whose heuristic value is minus 3 the successor's heuristic value is minus 1 because minus 1 is better than minus 3 this will become your current state for the next iteration and then we need to apply the same thing again and again until we reach this particular goal state over here so this is how actually this uh, steepest ascent hill climbing algorithm works in artificial intelligence i hope uh, the concept of uh, steepest ascent hill climbing algorithm is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching